Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of a series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam, OPCATLA, I feel sad, all of those things. And this one in particular would also help you a lot if you're taking yung master plumber exam na ganun. Kasi may mga students doon na nag-send sa akin ng mga klaseng tanong asking me for help. So, dahil ito ay lumalabas din sa mga regular attitude tests, if you want to get into college or if you want to pass the, civil, pass the civil service exam or all of those things, then I figured I should talk to you about this. This is a kind of variation of work problem. We already talked about yung basics last time. So, if you haven't seen the first part of this video, go ahead and click dito sa i muna, catch up, watch that first, bago nyo ito panoorin kasi this is uh, level up dun sa concept na yun. We're going to talk about pipes and drains. Now, last time we talked about pipes lang, multiple pipes. Today, we're going to talk about drains then. So, medyo, uh, medyo mas complicated siya ng onte. But I know that you guys can understand this. So, huwag kayong mag-alala. Kaya ninyo yan. Practice lang yan. And I'm going to hold your hand naman throughout the entire thing. So, in order for me to explain that better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's talk about yung part 2 ng ating series on pipes and tanks. Ngayon, i-level up natin siya a little bit. Pinag-uusapan dito yung drain. Kasi meron tayong pipe, meron tayong drain. So, before I even go on and talk about yung pinaka-solution uh, niya, pag-usapan natin yung concept. I-explain ko muna sa inyo para maintindihan ninyo yung idea. Now, remember this? We talked about this in the first video, right? So, if you haven't seen that first video yet, make sure that you watch it first. Ngayon, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, yung tank na to, pupunain natin siya. Okay? Lalagyan natin siya ng laman or lalagyan natin, natin siya ng tubig. So, kung meron kang pipe na papasok, that is positive. Okay, nagdadagdag ka ng tubig. Ngayon, ang konsepto ng drain is that hindi siya nagdadagdag ng tubig. Siya ay nagbabawas ng tubig. So, dito siya sa ilalim. ba? Yung pinaka-pipe or pinaka-drain. Drain pipe is kung ano yung lalagay na tubig, tatanggalin niya. So, ang konsepto lang is kung ito nagdadagdag, ito ay nagbabawas. Yun yung pinaka-importante yung kailangan tandaan. Ang ibig sabihin nun, kung bukas ang drain ng isang bagay, uh, ibig sabihin na babawasan yung tubig every time. Ngayon, may rate din ang drain. Ang rate niya is, for example, it will take uh, the drain um, 4 hours 4 hours to empty the tank. And, kaya pipe A takes just uh, 2 hours to fill the tank. Okay? Kasi usually, ang tanong niyan is this. Pipe A takes 2 hours to fill the tank. Drain, uh, the drain takes 4 hours to empty the tank. How long would it take to fill the tank if both are open? Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, habang tumatakbo yung tubig, nagbabawas ka rin ng tubig. Okay? So, sabay silang nakabukas. Ngayon, kung sabay silang nakabukas, yung formula natin dati, which is just a fraction plus a fraction, and then i-multiply mo siya sa, sa x, mag-iiba siya kasi magiging ganito ang itsura niya. Bakit? Yung first part, okay, that is your pipe. Kasi nagdadagdag siya. Positive siya. Nagdadagdag siya ng tubig. Pero habang nagdadagdag ka ng tubig, nagbabawas ka ng tubig. Ito yung pangalawa dyan. Ito yung drain mo. This is the drain. Okay? Nagbabawas siya ng tubig. Kaya siya naging negative or minus sign. But the concept is the same. Ganun mo rin siya isosolve. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin, okay, is if you fill in natin yung information dito. So, kung yung pipe A takes 2 hours to fill the tank, this is 1 half. Drain takes 4 hours to empty the tank, so this becomes 1 fourth. And then, again, ito yung X kasi ito yung number of hours na together. Bukas sila. And then, this is 1 kasi isa lang naman yung tank na pupunuin. Ngayon, kung dalawang tank ang pupunuin, then this will be 2. Kung, dal kung tatlo, this will be 3. Pero for now, that is the equation. So, ano mangyayari dito? We're just going to solve it the way that we did before. Just be careful dahil minus na ito. So again, i-LCD natin sila. 2 and 4. LCD niyan is 4. 1 half is 2 over 4. Minus 1 over 4. And this becomes x equals 1. 2 minus 1. 1 fourth lang yan. 1 fourth x is equal to 1. Multiply mo both sides by the reciprocal or kabalik para nito, which is 4 over 1. Maka-cancel ito. And then, yung 4 over 1, i-multiply mo rin kasi dun sa kabila. x is equal to 4 over 1 or 4 hours. And that is your answer. Okay? Now, again, anong gagawin mo lang? Same pa rin ang concept. Kaya lang, every time magdadagdag ka ng drain, minus yon. Pag magdadagdag ka ng pipe, plus yon. So, kung kunyari, meron kang dalawang 
pipes. Ibig sabihin ng dalawa ang fraction na positive. So, pwede ka magdagdag ko niya dito ng 1 over 3 plus 1 half minus 1 fourth. Kung nagdagdag ka ng isa pang drain, dalawa ang drain, magdadagdag ka uli ng 36 hours. Magdadagdag ka pa dito ng minus 1 over 6. Pahahaba ng pahaba yung equation mo. Okay? So, yun yung pinaka-concept niya. And I hope you got that kasi it's your turn. Okay? This is the question. I'm going to give you uh, 2 minutes to answer this. So, you can hit, you can... Uh, uh, time yourself. Okay, so hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, tinan natin kung nakakuha nyo siya. Now, if it takes you extra time, the first ta try that you uh, you did, okay lang yun. Try and try again hanggang mobilis kayo. Okay? So, tinan natin yung equation, eh, yung drawing muna natin. Okay? So, meron kang pipe A, meron kang drain. Okay? So, again, kung ito yung tub natin, meron kang pipe A, which is 5 hours siya. And then, meron kang drain, nag-empty siya ng 8 hours. So, ang equation natin should look like this. 1 over 5 minus 1 over 8 times x is equal to 1. That becomes our equation. So, what will happen is that if the lowest ELCD lang natin to, 5 and 8, that, would, that should give us 40. And then you have 8, kasi 40 divided by 5 times 1, 8. And then minus 40 divided by 8, which is 5 times 1, 5 x is equal to 1. Okay? So, 8 minus 5 is 3 over 40. x is equal to 1. Again, kung hindi kayo masyadong maalam dito sa part na ito, go and watch my series on fractions, ha? That is why it's very important for you to know the, the uh, particulars or yung mga foundation. Kasi lumalabas at lumalabas siya sa word problems. Okay? Now, there is a way for you to know this uh, instantly. I'm going to try to teach that sa live and sa online review program, pero kung hindi kayo makakapunta doon, because I teach that exclusively there, yung how to solve it in seconds, then this would be the good route for you, para alam niyo yung concept. Okay? So, multiply natin sila sa reciprocal or kabalik tala nito. This is 40 over 3. Maka-cancel ito. X is equal to 40 over 3. Or, okay, since ang 40 over 3, that is basically 13 and 1 third, Okay, kasi 13 times 3 is 39, tapos meron ka pang isa, 1 over 3, or 13 hours and 20 minutes. That is your answer, and I really hope you got it right. Now, if you didn't, that's okay, okay? Pwede nyong balikan to anytime, and I'm going to ask you rin to click on the link sa taas, kasi you have a free quick quiz for this problem, so you can go ahead and answer that quick quiz para ma, ano lang, magamay ninyo yung tanong, Okay? So, thank you guys and practice more pa. Alright? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you didn't click thumbs up, make sure to share this video with your friends, lalo na kung exam din sila. And, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon para wala kayong mamiss sa susunod. If you want me to uh, go to your place or to teach you guys sa ating live review event or sa online review program, I would love to hear back from you. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika to find out how you can attend those events and also how to get your reviewers if you want one. Now, uh, I made a promise to you guys, we stay until the end of the video. There's a bit of a surprise. I've been doing this for my last, uh, maybe 5 to 10 videos na. So if you're here until now, there is a link up here to a secret quick quiz para makita natin kung nakuha ninyo yung concept na ito. And I would love for you guys to answer that and to experience that para lang makapag-practice kayo ng sarili ninyo. Kasi iba pa rin talaga if you practice 
by yourself. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching this. Never stop learning. Aja aja, kainyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.